Hello and welcome back to our Stealth AI series. In this episode we're going to start work on getting our hearing and sound detection by the enemy uh, working in our game. Now in this episode we're going to focus on getting our character to make footstep sounds and generate noise reports for the enemies to pick up on. So uh, to get started I've created um, myself some footstep sound effects which I've got here here and here. You'll find these linked in the description below uh, where you can find all the series assets. So by all means, please download them and use them as you wish and import them into Unreal. And you've got f uh, three different, uh, slightly different footsteps. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is make it generate uh, a footstep sound effect randomly from these three. So to do that, we need to make a queue. So I'm going to go to the first one here, right click on it, and go up the top, it says create queue. And we call this one uh, footstep Q SFX and open it up. Now, because we right clicked on the first one, it comes in with the wave player footsteps one. But I actually wanted to do three of them randomly, so it's going to choose one at random. So on the right hand side, you'll find the option for random. You want to click on this and drag this out onto your graph. And in here, we're going to plug in our footstep into the side here. The output is going to go to the output node, like so. On here, we're going to add the other sound effects as well. So we're going to add another input, because there's the three of them. And then we're going to copy and duplicate our wave player here. So we're going to make two more copies. And for each one, we're going to select it and change which sound effect it's playing. and then plug that into your random node. And that is it. That's all we have to do. So now it's going to choose one at random to play. This ensures that your footsteps are uh, not always the same sound. It, otherwise it does sound a bit weird when you see the same sound effect uh, happening. So head on over to our blueprint for animation. And in here we're going to go to the bottom where you see Asset Browser. Now you want to find the assets required for your walk and run. So you'll find these all over the place because we've got multiple things going on here. So let's just go first of all to uh, our jog and do jog rifle. And in here we need to find when the foot hits the ground. So not that first one, but this one here. So I'm going to right click in here and notify. And you may see a play sound notify here. Now if we were doing no extra code on it, like not reporting the event, then that's totally fine to use. However, we're doing something with it. We're making the enemy hear it. So in that case, we need to do something more. So we're going to need to do a new notifier. And in here, I'm going to call it foot step. And I'm going to right click and copy on that. And then go to the, where the next foot touches down, which is there. And then paste that notifier again. And do this for the whole track. So again there one more there okay so you see this happening here now you want to do that for all the assets required for movement so this is jog forward so I'm going to go around and do the other ones so you could do jog backwards and there right click paste and there, 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 save, left, paste, 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 paste. I so say you want to do that for each one, so let's do right as well. That one there, paste. There again. Again. Lastly, that one. Okay. And I can't remember using anything other than jog. Let's have a look. Can't recall now. Um, that's prone, don't want prone. 
da, da, da. I think it's just jog. Yeah, we've got crouch walk, but we'll deal with that in a moment. Um, let's just deal with just jogging. So uh, that's all done. We've got all of our notifiers in there. So now you want to go to the event graph of your animation blueprint. Now, if you right click in here and type in the name of that notifier, you'll see it come up as an event and in notifier. Now, because we're using the same one for all of them, that one will do all of them. So on here, we make it simply just play the sound. So you go play sound at location. And the sound we're going to play, we're going to drop down here and choose the footstep cue. Remember, that's doing a randomized sound effect from there. And the location we're going to do it at is going to be at the pawns location. So we're going to go and try and get pawn owner. Take that into an is valid. Uh, ooh, and plug that in there. If it is valid, we're going to use the location of it. So get actor location and push play. Not push play, sorry. Plug it in. Um, there are more options. So if we expand, open the show advanced, we can see a lot more options here. We'll be coming back to this later. Okay, that's important. We'll be coming back to this later. So once we've done that, I'm just going to do a little pinch string on here so you guys can uh, see it as well as maybe hear it. I don't know if it'll come through in the video, uh, but we'll say hello if we, when every time we walk. So now if I push play, I've now got sound effects playing for each step. Okay. And that's it. So we've got sound effects playing for each step just there. So the next thing we're going to do is to report a noise event. So at the moment we need to, uh, we haven't got anything set up on our AI to understand that a noise has been played. They can't hear sound effect. You have to tell them to hit that what they can and can't hear. So on the back on the player and in BP, it's a, get rid of the print string there, and we're going to do a report noise event. So we're going to drag that out, do report noise event, and the noise location is going to be the same location as this. So I'm going to drag that over here. And the loudness, we're going to leave as one instigator. We're going to put in as the pawn here, uh, which will be the player character. And we'll plug that in over here. And the max range, we'll leave at zero. Tag, we'll leave at none. So hit compile there and save. So this report noise event will tell any AI that's listening out for it, and if it's in range, to understand that noise has been heard. So let's just go through and check our AI controller. So let's check out Animate AI Controller. And on the handle sense, you want to make sure your AI sense hearing is plugged into a print string so you can see that it's been detected. We also we can turn on debug and see it there too. But for now, that will do. Hit save and let's push play. So if I were to go into our detection here, and I'm going to turn off the other ones and just turn on perception by putting 4 in. You can see sight has been detected. But noise has been detected as well, as you can see with that yellow sphere. Okay, and if I get outside of the range of the yellow circle there, you can see it no longer gets picked up. But it will get picked up if I walk into this range. Okay, so at the moment, he doesn't understand that it's me making noise. He just knows the noise is being made. So what we're going to do is make him understand that that is something to investigate. So let's get that going in there for this. Back on our handle sense function on the hearing, we're going to take what we've got here for our is investigating blackboard set here. We're going to copy that and we're going to paste that down the bottom here for hearing. I'm just going to delete these ones. We don't need those anymore. And we're going to tell our AI to investigate. Now with hearing, it's wanting to always head to an investigation location. So we've got something set up already over here on the top for hearing, uh, for seeing, sorry. And it's on this force branch, we've got set value as vector, and that's target location vector. Remember, this was the location that you want them to walk towards when they see something, or think they see something. So we're going to take this and copy that into here. Now, what's really good about this is that we don't have to worry about it when he sees the player, because we've already done that. So he's just going to head towards where he heard the sound, and then, he'll, if he sees us, it will trigger 
this top branch and just chase a player. Don't have to worry about setting the player character or anything like that. That will overtake it. So I'm going to hit compile and save. Once we're finished here, we want to head over to our behavior tree. So the first thing we do is go to our move to and we're going to change its observed blackboard value uh, tolerance here to one. And then we're going to add uh, some extra decorators to our alert phase and our caution phase. Now, the problem we have to solve here is that we want him to uh, hear us when he's searching around for us. So he doesn't know where we are, but then he hears us, then he's going to go investigate that sound. So what we're going to do is make it so he can eject from these and then continue looking investigation. So I'm going to go to my caution here, right click on caution sequence, add decorator, choose blackboard, and change the blackboard base condition for this one to be the is investigating and you want it to be not set and on results change change it so it aborts itself so that when that does change it can see us or hear us rather it aborts this and goes on now we also want to do that exact same thing on our last known position so he doesn't know where we are but he may want to listen out and hear us so we're going to right click on that add decorator blackboard and so it's exactly the same, so change it to is investigating, is not set, and observer bought it to self. So it bought itself there. Hit save and let's check that one out. So now when we're going in here, let's just make this nice and big. Um we will just debug our character here. So they can hear us and they're investigating this sound. So they're not patrolling anymore. And you can tell that by the debug, okay, and them not pausing, but they can hear us. Okay, so he's constantly chasing where he's heard the footsteps. But what if he sees us? He now sees us, he changes his speed, and he gives chase. Now, I'm going to find it, find it very hard to lose him because my sound is triggering wherever I am. So even if I'm hidden here, he knows exactly where to go because that's where he heard me. So obviously that's a bit too powerful. So how do we get around that? Well, we can change the strength of our hearing. So at the moment that's hearing is set to a strength of one uh, with an age of whatever it is. Uh, we need to make it so the range, it affects itself a lot less in the range there. So let's go back to our code here and look at our um, player anim. So on the report noise event, we can change the loudness here, which is the strength of our report here. So the loudness of our footsteps can be very, very small. So here I'm going to change that to 0.2. Hit compile. And so now when I'm running around and I'll turn on the debug for the sound event, you can see that he's not picking it up just as well. I have to be really close for him to be able to hear that. So it's 0.2. So it's 0.2 of the full range, which is ideal. So now I can actually probably get away from him quite successfully. So he now doesn't know where I am. But if I get close enough to him, without me without him seeing me. There you go, and he detected me. So we can simply just change the loudness of that report to affect the range that you can hear my footsteps very, very easily. And we can use that to change how often he can hear us by uh, the surface we walk on. And that's what we'll do in the next episode. So in the next episode, we're going to add things like puddles so that when we walk over the puddle surface, he will hear a footstep a lot louder than he would normally. If you want to watch that part right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can watch that part plus many other videos well before anyone else. Big shout out and thank you to all my patrons for their continued support in me making this channel work uh, for you. So thank you again so, so much. And if you're one of the few who are watching this and not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. We release content all the time and I, it really does help out. So thank you if you can do so. Thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.